Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews Nope. And today I'm going to show you how to take off a particular virus off of your Macintosh, specifically OS X. The virus I'm going to talk about is uh, more of an annoyance than anything else. And it's very easy, free to take it off, and it's not a big problem. Now, as far as things goes, one of the things I want to point out there is a lot of people might be saying there's no viruses on Macintoshes and truth of the matter is is there is there there's quite a few different type of viruses that can go on a Macintosh very easily but uh, because there's just so many on other operating systems specifically Windows versus Linux and OS X which is the operating system on Macs uh, that uh, most people don't really associate Macs with viruses which is okay but uh, n n a theory is is just that there's so many people out there with Windows versus any other operating system that that's why there's so many viruses for one versus the other. Uh, another, and I think this is more towards it, that um, because OS X is less customizable off the bat than Windows, because even Linux, you got to basically unlock a lot of features on there to really make it customizable. And if you don't know what you're doing, then you really shouldn't want to unlock a lot of those features. And the uh, same thing with OS X, and they're making it with the newer versions where you can't unlock the uh, these features. And that means that you can't really ruin your computer. Or on Windows, you can just customize it. And if you mess it up, then that's kind of, it could actually be Microsoft's uh, fault because it made it too easy. So as far as things goes, let's jump on in. The uh, software that we're going to use is free. You can't get this on the App Store at least yet, but uh, you can get free here. Now, if you go with buy, that's just basically a donation. So select that and it will download. And I should already have a copy downloaded. Give it a second or two. And once that's done, you just need to drag and drop. And because I already have it on here, it's it's going to pop up this. And just give it a second or two. And when that's done, you need to go to your applications folder. And then go to the Adware Medic. Double click on it and give it a second and click open because it recognizes it's not from the app store and give it a second or two agree and give it another second or two you can close out all this stuff if you want now for your first run I advise going to the scanner and going to update and that way you've made sure that you have the newest version but after you got it up and running you can go to the magnifying glass and we got a beach ball but uh once that's done it, it, it'll basically scan the system and it'll try to figure out what um what hardware you have if you have any hardware on your on your computer and once it's done if it goes through and says you got nothing and you got nothing but if it found something then it will basically say adware detected and show you here and um this is just the plugin i got for chrome but you know and then you select that and it's successful and we're good to go. We, I, I suggest once you go through that process and if you found some and removed it, go ahead and scan again and that way it, you made sure that you completely got rid of stuff if, if there is anything else. And as you see here, it didn't find anything so we're good to go. I suggest that you run this uh, once a month or once every other week and that way you don't have to worry about it. 
But anyways, uh, this has been Craig Bent, founder and owner of TechFuse Nope. If you like this video, then please like, please subscribe, and please share. And I hope you have a great day. And um, if you've got any questions, then feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. And I'll try to answer it as quickly as possible. Have a great day.